A few months ago, I got a full body MRI. MRI or magnetic resonance imaging is an advanced medical imaging technology that creates an accurate image of the insides of your body. I've got my results right here and I'm going to share them in this video. So make sure you click a like and subscribe for future videos about living healthier and longer. Usually MRIs aren't used for regular health checkups. They're only used for cancer screening, tracking the progression of multiple myeloma, and looking at specific organs like the brain, heart, liver, or kidneys to detect any abnormalities. You'll never get an MRI from your family doctor or get it covered with your health insurance unless you have some actual medical condition, because first of all, it's quite expensive. And second of all, you probably don't need to take an MRI. In the majority of cases, like 99% of cases, if you don't have any symptoms, if you don't have any health problems, then the MRI would just show nothing. And that is true with me as well. I have no history of any medical condition. I'm in great health and I have no complaints. And I know that many people watching this video and some doctors, they'll probably be very mad at me getting an MRI without having any symptoms or without having any medical conditions because, you know, it can create some false ideas of other people wanting to get an MRI if they don't even have any health problems. I understand that. And I don't want you to leave this video thinking that, oh, I need to get an MRI after watching this video. The reason I got an MRI myself is because my grandfather died of colorectal cancer at the age of 36. The standard way to detect colon cancer is with a colonoscopy, but MRIs can also be used to detect it. Doctors usually prescribe an MRI if the previous tests indicate a risk of colon cancer. A 2019 study found that whole body MRIs have similar accuracy to standard pathways and reduce the number of tests needed, staging time and cost. An MRI can help to identify the location of the cancer very accurately. Colon cancer is one of those cancers that can be prevented completely if you detect it early enough. You can identify the colorectal polyps sticking out of the lining of the colon and remove them before they develop into a cancer. If you do it in the polyp stage, you completely prevent it from developing into a cancer. Other cancers are a bit more difficult, but it goes to show the power of early detection. Usually, it's recommended to get colonoscopies after the age of 45 to detect the polyps at an early stage. Now, I'm only 29 years old and I wouldn't need a colonoscopy or an MRI in a regular setting. However, because my grandfather died to colorectal cancer at the age of 36, which is only seven years older than me right now, then it made sense for me at least to get an MRI. No doctor, no influencer, no video, <laughs> nothing really convinced me to do it. I just decided to do it myself because it usually takes 10 to 15 years for polyps to develop into a cancer. So my grandfather probably had cancer growing in his colon in his late 20s. So that's exactly my age right now. I understand that most people don't need an MRI unless they have some diagnosis or actual clinical symptoms, which I don't have neither of those. Even with me having a family history of colorectal cancer of my grandfather, then it doesn't mean that I need to get an MRI. But doing these things and doing these tests on myself it's kind of like my job in some sense. It's my job to be a professional health enthusiast who's interested in their longevity and who does many different kinds of tests on myself and to, you know, do different kinds of experimentations. That's what my job apparently right now has evolved to become. So I'm not saying that you need to do it. I'm just sharing my results. So what did my results show? Well, nothing surprising everything was normal. No abnormalities were detected in my abdomen and pelvis, in my chest, neck, brain, spine, and extremities. That's not a big surprise given my blood work and my other vital signs there in excellent condition. However, my grandfather had no obvious symptoms either. He wasn't overweight, he wasn't diabetic. I mean, I think he did smoke and I think he did drank some alcohol, but he wasn't unhealthy by any visible symptoms. He also lived in the Soviet-occupied Estonia, and back in the 80s, they didn't do any cancer screening, especially for someone in their 30s. So I decided that there was no downside for me personally to get this test. I understand that someone else obviously doesn't need to do that, and for them it might not be worth it, and they probably don't need it. The MRI involves no x-rays or radiation unlike the coronary CT scan. It's non-invasive and it just involves exposure to strong magnetic fields while being inside the machine. The test lasted for about 45 to 50 minutes and I had to lay completely still. They put like a harness around my head to keep it more still and the machine made a little bit of louder noise. But other than that, there was nothing uncomfortable or painful. Someone who has claustrophobia of tight spaces might feel uncomfortable, but I don't have that. 
the entire point of this video is that early detection, not necessarily having to use an MRI, but early detection in general is very powerful, whether that be just tracking your body weight, tracking your other biomarkers, tracking your blood pressure, tracking your VO2 max, tracking how many pull-ups you can do, tracking how many push-ups you can do, tracking how many like steps you can take up the stairs, whatever, without getting winded. All of those things can be powerful in terms of keeping your health on the right track. For example, if you measure your blood work every year, you can see, okay, my blood sugar is a bit high, my triglycerides are a bit high, my inflammation is maybe a bit high, whatever it is, if you see it, then you can actually make some actionable changes to your lifestyle, to your diet, whatever it is, to improve your blood work. In the next few decades, these early screening techniques are going to become more commonplace. Right now, your doctor might not even check your blood work, unless you have some real symptoms. Yes, you don't need to do an MRI, but maybe tracking your blood work or tracking your blood pressure, those kind of things, they can be the first step in the right direction. It doesn't have to be anything super advanced. Just simple biomarkers like blood pressure, waist circumference, VO2 max, blood sugar, cholesterol, inflammation, liver enzymes, kidney function, etc. can go a long way. The second reason I got the MRI is because I got the opportunity to do it with a longevity clinic, IWO, in India, where I had my retreat. There I worked with 130 medical professionals and took a lot of different tests and scans. We measured 180 biomarkers with the 360 IWO blood panel. I measured my VO2 max, DEXA scan, and a lot more. All of that in a five-star hotel, the Lela Palace. The cost for all of these tests was cheaper than getting an MRI in the United States or Europe. If you want to join me at the Iowa Clinic for this comprehensive full body health assessment focused on longevity, then check out the link in the description or send me an email to seem at seamland.com. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seam. Stay optimized, stay empowered.